If you need assistance with calibration for this method, please see calibration video titled Pump Calibration with Filter Cassette. This sampling is performed open-faced with a treated filter in a cassette. Be sure to keep the cassettes refrigerated before and after sampling. To begin sampling, be sure the pumps have been fully charged within the last 48 hours. Cut the gel band along the seam of the top section of the filter cassette. Loosen the top section of the filter cassette using a cassette opener or screwdriver so that it can be easily removed when sampling begins. Remove the colored nib from the other side of the filter cassette and attach the filter cassette to the pump with the wagon wheel pattern of the filter cassette attached to the pump tubing. The wagon wheel pattern should be facing towards the pump. Then, attach the pump to the worker's belt or pocket, either in back or on the side. Bring the tubing around to the front and attach the sample to the shirt collar in the breathing zone. Use the collar clip to attach the tubing in place along the shirt to restrict its movement. Remove the pre-loosened top section of the filter cassette to sample open face. Turn on the pump and record the time to the minute that you started the pump on the field data sheet. The counter records the minutes the pump is operating and should read zero when you start the test. Remember, a field blank cassette should be collected for each sample set and should accompany the actual sampling cassettes during all periods except actual sampling. For more detailed information, watch our field blanks video. After sampling is complete, turn off the pump and record the time. Remove the filter cassette and reinstall the top section of the filter cassette and the nibs on both ends. Remove the equipment and return to the area where you performed the pre-calibration to perform post-calibration and prepare your sample for shipment. Perform a post-calibration in the same manner you used to perform the pre-calibration. Then record the flow rate on the pump calibration sheet. Label the filter cassette with your sample ID and place it into the Ziploc bag. Place the Ziploc bag inside the cooler with frozen ice pack for shipment to Galson Laboratories. It is important to ship the samples back to the laboratory inside a cooler with an ice pack using next day courier service. This will maintain the stability of your samples. Then, complete the chain of custody form. It is important that you include all of the information requested in order to ensure the turnaround time of your samples. Please mark the isomer needed in the analysis requested portion on the chain of custody. Questions? Contact SGS Galson by phone or IH Live Chat. 303-257-1000.